hello to my little friend MSC AQC 1C site accurate quick shot gonna do a full review finally got some range time in with this just got done sighting it in and this is my new little friend We're gonna have some fun with it Aloha from Manuka on the Big Island. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Target results. Okay, you survived the zombie apocalypse. Gotta have some fun editing video, just shooting to get boring. All right, there's a nice concrete select the shooting range. There's my uh, Tafor on a CTK bench rest. Thanks, Kurt, for replacing the bad carpet with a bad, good carpet, bad tape. And uh, let's see. So I had some targets to sh shot it. Sh I had some targets to uh, three targets to sight in on the bench, sight in the uh, zero of the scope or red dot in this case. And there they are, along with an MSC case that the sight comes in. The one on the left, you can see the first grouping was low. And so basically how this uh, site works is he's got, uh, you pull up, it's like a little watch. You pull up, it seems to like a certain location to pull it up. And then the other location it gets hard, but you pull it up, you crank it however many clicks it needs. It's, for every box on there, it's two clicks. So I needed to go up about five, or, uh, five boxes, which was like ten clicks. And after I got it pretty much zeroed on the first three groupings, um, the center of the first target is black. So I got like three or four targets in, and then I just took it off the bench and started blasting, you know. So, and that's what you're seeing here, just standing up and blasting. I think I need my stance need work, so I'm not leaning into the rifle enough. But I, I I got enough to do some damage. <laughs> anyway, it was fun. Now all the charts figures that I got from uh, Command Arms. Uh, thanks, Roger. Quick shot. Now... I had a bar mitzvah, okay, I know they spell, sometimes spell Hanukkah with a C, but quick shot, supposed to be an S, I, I, they spell Hala with a C sometimes and not an H, or Hanukkah sometimes with an H, sometimes with a C, but there's no, no such thing as Shanukkah, it's not a, it's not a quick hot, it's a quick shot, maybe some Israeli person can explain it. Okay, here's all the charts, you can see there's three buttons, one for the three different reticles, uh, one for there's four levels of brightness for daylight and four levels of brightness for a night vision if you have a nice vision scope so you can use those reticles and uh, which I don't have two thousand dollars for a night vision scope at the moment hint Roger you could just send me one uh, and <laughs> uh, uh, I just bought this on my own so I don't know them anything but uh, except they did send me the stuff the uh, DVDs that came with it didn't work but Here's all the, here's all the, um, they messed up on the DVDs. I, I, maybe it was a zone, you know, how DVDs have nation zones and stuff, but 
So here's everything they gave me, um, how to zero it and uh, all the technical specs. You can hit pause and look at anything. I'm not going to like burn an hour video, so you can just have 10 minutes on each one. You can just hit pause. Okay, Lieutenant uh, Colonel retired of the IDF. Uh, Mikey Hartman, he founded the uh, IDF Marksmanship School in 1993. And... I need to edit myself in over him on Soldier of Fortune. But anyway, um, he says he brought up the uh, shooting from 3% to 90%. I mean, 3%, how the hell did they fight the PLO? The Laker girls could shoot better than 3%. I mean, how did they win anything? But they, they say they're 90% now. And here's a letter, nice letter. You should hit pause and read this from the Green Berets. You stopped by and gave them some sites. And so they wrote him a nice letter saying what they thought of the sites, and it's a pretty glowing review. And you can see what they like about it. Um, and uh, they, I don't know if this deal went through to the Indian Army, but they had a deal with Beretta to, to, to sell Beretta carbons, like I think it's 100,000 carbons Beretta wanted to sell to the Indian Army. I don't know if they, they, they tried to sell them with the sites. I don't know if that deal went through. Maybe Roger can tell me. If he did, I'll put it in the annotations. Okay, and here's all the tables comparing the aim point. First, um, what we have here is the aim point it has a nice quick detach, uh, but obviously on the aim point you can you can see uh, in day and night you're going to be able to see this orange. And uh, if you're standing opposed, if you're looking, you know, it, it, if you got the MSE, they can't see your sight reflecting, and you can obviously see this nice bright orange sight. And uh, these charts compare everything. Obviously, the MSE has a sleep deactivation mode uh, and a sleep, which you can defeat if you want, but basically um, has a larger field of view. But the, after 30 minutes, it automatically just shuts off the site, and it'll come back on at whatever setting you left it at, which is pretty nice. So it, it'll just turn off after 30 minutes, you know, and then boom. You know, you just pick it up, it senses the motion, and it's active where you left it. Uh, okay, here's comparing to an EOTech. Nice, uh, large field of view. Um, 775 more battery hours on a one uh, CR123. Uh, let's see. I didn't, I, I'm not for the Tavor, in, in my opinion, and I hope MSC is watching this review, <laughs> Star Defense Systems MSC. I have a Tavor, and MEPRO makes a unit with uh, a, a PTT uh, cable uh, that reaches the front uh, lower handguard of the Tavor, uh, not on their MEPRO 21, which is going to come up here, but on the... Um, uh, see, here's a MEPRO 21, uh, but they have a more expensive unit, MEPRO, that has a, just a longer PTT cable that actually sits in the circle on the left side underneath the charging handle. And it would be really cool if MSC had one there. If you see all the pictures MSC has, uh, it's, it's either on an uh, AR or a Roni or some short little thing. And that, I, I'm not using that PTT cable. It's just too short for it to bore. It needs, I mean, it's supposed to, it should have a longer one for it to bore. I mean, that's their main battle rifle, right? And it should sit on the left side on the, um, in that little, there's a round circle uh, at, at the very front of the lower left side of the handguard. They should have a longer PTT cable that I could hook it up to there. Maybe in the future they'll do that. Um, but, uh, that's about my only main peeve. I'd like a longer one, <laughs> a longer uh, cable, remote cable, but I don't really need a remote cable, you know. And uh, for battle rifle, it comes on when you pick it up and move it. So, you know, what more can you ask for? Trijicon reflex. Again, here with the Trijicon, if you're, you're going to be able to see this. Uh, if, you, if, you're, if you're at night or day, you're able to, you are going to be able to see the, the uh, reflection of the Trijicon, you know. Uh, if you're if you're aiming it at somebody and you will not see anything off of the MSC, uh, so they won't know you're there if you have camo. And of course, if you're wearing a purple World Peace T-shirt from the Lakers, forget it. But if you're wearing a camo shirt, and to, 
they might not see you, and they definitely won't see your MSE site. But um, so you can pause at any of these charts, and if you have any questions, I'll answer them. Um, again, uh, the AQC has four daylight brightness settings and four night vision settings. So if you have a night vision scope, it will check it. It will. Uh, you can use that with this, and you have three different reticles. And I had a lot of fun shooting it. Um, and uh, it's just a blast to shoot and easy to zero in. Bonus IDF MSE AQC training syllabus. This is uh, the course that the Lieutenant Colonel Mikey Hartman teaches. And it's the Israeli Rifle Qualification course that everybody takes. So I'm going to throw this in here at the end. They didn't. I actually have to ask Roger for this. And he gave it to me. Um, and he dug it up. So you guys can check out the complete training course and rifle qualification here. And um, go crazy with it. Put your entire volcano squad, wherever your volcano squad is, and run them through this course. Um, and with your MSC scope. And, uh, or, why am I calling it a scope? It's a red dot. And it's late. I'm tired. And uh, it's been a long day going to the range. It's like a 30-mile drive up there and back. But, uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys, uh, uh, you know, this helps people uh, learn about this particular red dot compared to the other red dots that are out there. And you get this bonus syllabus. And uh, there's the target. I got the target at the end. And uh, thanks a lot for watching my videos. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, may there be peace on Earth so we only get to shoot, have to shoot targets with this thing. But it's a hell of a lot of fun, and I really like this red dot, and I seem to be pretty damn accurate with it now. And uh, I love it. Thanks, guys. See you later.